100 days ago, I started a YouTube Shorts channel with the goal of reaching 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year. 100 days later, my channel has reached 230,000 subscribers and now earns more than $400 a week. This video is everything that I've learned over the last four months, so you can apply these principles to your channel and start seeing similar results. Principle one, make sure you're interested in your channel topic, otherwise you'll lose motivation and give up. I am no exception to this principle because I've created three YouTube short channels and only continued to post on the Nutmeg channel. This is because I am interested in the channel topic, which is football. One channel I gave up on was focused on basketball content, and I gained 300 subscribers and reached over 120,000 views after posting for just 19 days consistently. Despite this channel starting to gain traction, I just couldn't bear to create another short around a topic I just didn't care for. If I had spent this time on the Nutmeg channel, who knows how large it could be right now. So learn from my mistakes and pick a channel topic you're actually interested in. Principle 2. You are in control of how quickly success comes to your channel. If you take the time to publish one short per day and study the performance from every single short you upload, success will come to your channel much faster. I posted 39 shorts before I realized I needed to go back and study the performance of my only viral short at the time. The difference between my viral short and all the other shorts on my channel was that it had high retention. And retention is the most important YouTube metric behind any short going viral on YouTube. I identified two techniques that I accidentally applied to the short to make it have high retention. And ever since learning these techniques, they have been responsible for all of the viral shorts on my channel. Continue watching to watch me break down these retention techniques in future principles. Principle three, if you want to make money from YouTube shorts and it's not your original content, you have to edit your shorts. For my channel, it's obvious I didn't create the original content because it's famous soccer players from games and interviews. And to prove you can make money from this, we can look at the YouTube monetization rules for reused content. If you edit your shorts, you will meet this approved criteria of creating a funny or thoughtful revision of content you didn't originally create. And if your content doesn't fall within any of these don'ts, you will be making money from YouTube shorts. My channel was once flagged for reused content and momentarily removed from the YouTube partner program. But since I knew I was following the rules, I appealed the claim by submitting a video where I showed my video editing files and one day later, I was added back to the YouTuber partner program. Principle 4. Aim to achieve high retention in your shorts because as I mentioned, retention is the key metric behind any short going viral. After studying my first viral short, I noticed within the first second, I already had one text edit, one highlighted circle, and two sounds. These types of edits appeared every two seconds throughout the entire short to keep the viewer engaged both visually and auditory. This constantly feeds the viewer with new content and gives them less reason to swipe away. To do this, you will need to know how to use video editing software. Starting out, it can be hard if you've never edited before, but don't let it scare you. You can learn everything you need to know to edit a viral short within a couple hours of practice. Principle five, make your shorts appeal to the largest audience possible. The second difference I noticed within my first viral short was that it was dedicated to one of the most popular soccer players and it was just his funniest moments. This topic appealed to a much wider audience compared to my traditional content which was just focused on diehard football fans. Another way to attract a wider audience is to create shorts with no words, so any language can understand your content. You can use emojis and different types of graphics to draw attention, but of course this may not apply to your content because you might be doing some type of talking content that relies on a voice. Principle 6. Set realistic goals. Your main priority if you want to make money from YouTube shorts is to reach the YouTuber partner program. This requires you to gain 1,000 subscribers and reach over 10 million short views in a 90 day period. This number of views didn't scare me at the start until I had posted my first short and got less than 5,000 views. I recommend you start by trying to achieve 100 subscribers within a two week period while posting one short per day. At the start, your channel growth will be slow and you can't give up because one thing about YouTube Shorts is that growth is exponential and happens all of a sudden. Now, let's look at my analytics to see how my channel performed. We can see over the period, my channel reached 140 million views and we can see that I started posting in this initial stage here. In this grouping, I uploaded my first viral short and took around 13 days before it started to go viral. It reached a peak of 500,000 views per day and this was followed to a drop to around 100,000 views and then back to another peak to around 600,000 
10,000 views. It was in this peak here where I went back and studied what worked within my first viral short. And I applied those two principles I explained earlier to increase retention to these two shorts here. And to my surprise, the two shorts didn't immediately go viral and my channel was averaging around 50,000 to 20,000 views per day. And I won't lie to you, during this time period, I gave up on posting frequently because I felt like there was no skill to creating YouTube shorts and it was all luck. But my mindset suddenly changed when the two shorts started to be pushed into the algorithm and we reached a peak of around 900,000 views per day. And going back to those two shorts, we can click and look at both of the performances to just show within around 30 days, it did in fact receive minimal views until it started to be pushed into the algorithm. After those two shorts went viral, it motivated me once again to start posting and continuing to test my my retention principles. This is when I uploaded another short based on those principles and it started to be pushed into the algorithm just after 12 days of being published. With continued success using those principles, I uploaded another two shorts and they both contributed to the highest peak of the channel to around 5 to 6 million views per day. And then it was followed by a drop to around 2 to 3 million views per day and this is where we are today. And now looking a little bit deeper into our analytics, we can see that watch time, subscribe and revenue all follow the same trend and for revenue you can see I didn't reach the YouTube upon the program for a while since I had to reach the 10 million view threshold and the interesting part about my revenue is that if we change the time period to the last 28 days we can see that almost all the channel revenue was generated just within the last 28 days where our highest paying day was around $160 and we're now averaging around $50 a day I am really happy with this performance and I think if I can continue to post frequently using those retention principles, I could increase this average to around $100 a day. And here's my audience tab if you're interested in any of this information. And actually at the bottom here, it's interesting to see that most of my viewers are older than what you might expect because in my opinion, my football content is aimed at younger audiences. And here's my revenue tab where we can see how exponential YouTube growth can be by looking at earnings per month. In February, we first got monetized and every month after, the revenue continues to multiply by a significant amount. Who knows how much it will be next month after I continue to post shorts using the retention principles I mentioned earlier. And here's my short RPM if you're interested. And as expected, the 50 million viewed short contributed the most to earnings over the last 28 days and all my other shorts with around 6 million views earn around $100 each. I hope you use these numbers as motivation to start your channel so you can start making money from YouTube shorts. As I mentioned in principle 7, you should set realistic goals. So my goal is to reach 1 million subscribers before the end of the year so I can reach the 1 million subscriber play button. I encourage you to start a channel and grow it along with mine over the rest of the year and I think we'll both be surprised how far we can get. My next video will be all about how to edit viral shorts so you can go viral as fast as possible.